What's up, everybody? Pokecast here, back for part number eight of my Pokemon Blaze Black Randomized Mono Fire Elimination Lock. And in the last episode, we went and took on the third gym, and we got our third gym badge in a pretty hectic gym battle. But fortunately, we didn't lose any team members. If you haven't seen that episode? Definitely go suggest you check it out. But before you do that, make sure to hit the like button if you have been enjoying the series and you are excited for today's episode. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out the previous episodes. And we're going to go over the team real quick. Real quick, I haven't done any grinding since the last episode. We have Spunky, the Arcanine. We have Filbert, the Torkoal. Charlie, the Charmeleon. Maggie, the Magmar. Victoria, the Larvesta. And Marshall the Slugma. I think I switched up the order a bit in between episodes, but other than that, I've still just been in the exact same spot. We're gonna go up here, uh, and I believe Charon wants to battle. I don't know how close I can get before he starts talking to me. And we really don't need to deal with uh, wild battles, especially in the sand. So let's see. Yep, that's battle music. I've been waiting for you to get the insight badge. Now it's time to see which one of us is the stronger trainer. Well, I'm sure it's me, but I'm sure you'll pull out some bullcrap. Oh, rotation battle. Okay. So you have. Well, Arcanine's a good start. You have two Pokemon that are weak to. Fighting, and a Pokemon that's weak to Dark. So... I gotta go with Crunch. Of course. Like, the game can predict what I'm about to do. Like, that's so stupid. And of course you have a freaking Pokemon. Of course, in a randomizer, you have a Pokemon that is... Immune to the sandstorm. Does that even kill? No, it doesn't kill. In future sight. I don't know. I feel like the combination of. I kind of want a close combat. Uh, of course you don't switch. Why would you? The Vibrava. Well, I can't stay in with you. I'm just gonna eruption. Not even faster than a Teddy Ursa. But, whatever. That should kill. I think that should kill, right? It's an eruption. Thank you. And of course, again, he has another Pokemon that is immune to the sandstorm, being Vibrava, the ground Pokemon. And why? Why does Future Sight do so much damage? Let's body slam. He'll probably switch to something. I still have the minus defenses, too, so I gotta be careful of that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to either switch to Charlie and then like I guess Dragon Pulse would be the safest. Of course you switch to Magmar. Confuse Ray. You gotta be kidding me now. Filbert and Spunky are both like practically dead. I really don't have anybody to switch into. So I'm gonna need to Super Potion. Filbert. I should have. I should have went to the Pokemon Center. Well, I probably did go to the Pokemon Center. Why do you do so much damage?
Yeah, it's probably because you're level 33. Oh, this is... Nope, I can't switch because of the stupid sand tomb. So now I gotta heal Charlie. Because sand tomb does way too much damage compared to what it should be doing. Acid. I guess that's okay. Although it'll probably lower my special defense! So, let's go to you. Let's just flamethrower, I guess. That's neutral. Or not! Maybe it's not neutral. Who knows? Seriously, this game is ridiculous. But not black and white, blaze black. Because... Like, seriously, I shouldn't have to deal with, like, these high-level Pokémon. That doesn't even do... Okay, so you have two Pokémon on your frickin' team that have Confuse Ray. And I'm guessing, even though I switched Charlie, that he's probably still confused. Yep. Well, at least I hit the ancient power. Would have been nice if I had hit Dragon Pulse instead, but nope. That's like practically death right there. I, I literally can't do anything. I can't switch out. I shouldn't have to grind in between two battles just so my Pokemon don't die. And I have to take the Sand Tomb damage, I have to take the Sand Storm damage, and of course, he has one Pokemon that doesn't get hurt by Sand Storm right now. My one real option, other than waiting for him to go to a different move, is to just hope... That's not what I was expecting. That still does the same amount as Sand Tomb! Let's just... Okay, I snapped out of confusion. Can I get the boosts off this ancient power? Oh my god, this could be what I need. Do I Dragon Pulse on the... Yes, I Dragon Pulse on the off chance he goes to Vibrava. Okay, he didn't go to Vibrava. That should still kill, that's plus one. I still have to take Sandstorm damage. That should still kill though, right? Oh, that's definitely gonna kill. That's a plus one Dragon Pulse on a super effective. There we go. There we go. Filbert got a level to 33. It said 33, so I wasn't sure. Oh, he's learning Body Slam. That's probably. He's a special Pokemon, but it's probably better than Clear Smog, anyways. I mean, chance paralysis along with the chance of. Okay. Dragon Pulse. There's no reason why Dragon Pulse shouldn't kill him. Thank you! I actually won the stupid battle without having to grind and without losing a Pokemon. Now, clear to me, the reason you were so tough is the trust between you and your Pokemon. That should be a problem. I can get more out of Pignite. You had a Pignite? Oh, sorry, I got a phone call. What? I'll be waiting for you two in Nimbasa City. Oh, we should go to Nimbasa City. No. I'm gonna go to frickin' Castelia City and I'm gonna heal because you have to be a dick that has two Pokemon that are immune to Sandstorm in a randomizer. And you have to do so much damage to my Pokemon. I'm glad that that battle against Charon took half the episode. 
Then I went back and healed because I'm almost certain. I know in Blaze Black, er, well, in Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2, along with Black 2 and White 2, you have a battle, like, as soon as you get to Nimbasa City. There's a double battle, but maybe not in this one, but there's probably trainers on this route as well. Oh, there are. Icicle plate. Not really a useful item. Who's first? Is Charlie first? I want Charlie to be first. I want Charlie and Marshall to gain the most levels, but... I might as well just battle people. Maybe this can be the episode of me going through the sandstorm. Oh. Shed Engine's not a good Pokemon to have right now. Uh, Diglett. Let's use Victoria. Let's just give you some experience here. Kind of surprised you're faster. Psyduck, let's just stay in, I guess. Cloud Nine's actually helpful. Except I still get hit by the uh, the Sandstorm because I killed the Psyduck in one hit. See, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, I can just send in the Pokemon that has a move good against the Pokemon and just win. When it's rotation battle and you can't know what they're going to send out, it's annoying. And then I gotta go through the stupid sand and got Rog and Rollas, which you probably would find here. I'm not gonna search this desert right now. If anything, I'll probably just use it for, like, grinding. Uh, is Rock good against ice? Or is, yeah, I think Rock's good against ice. Well, I mean, I don't know why I would have expected you to die in one hit, but Lily Pup? Now let's just stay in. Or not! Uh, no, well, let's definitely stay in this Marshall. You got seven more levels until you evolve. I have no idea what the Nimbasa gym is going to look like in levels, so... we don't, I don't know what grinding is going to look like. Uh, Teddy or so. Yeah, I'll just stay in. I kind of wish that this thing had evolved a little bit earlier, just for the fact that I would have been part rock type and wouldn't have to deal with the sandstorm. But whatever. Item? Health thing. That'll raise the EVs up by one of one of my Pokemon, or for the HP. Poliwag. Let's... I'm gonna Dragon Pulse you, see how much that does. Thank you for dying. Badu. Probably not the best thing for me to stay in. Because I don't want to flare blitz. Because I don't want to take the recoil damage along with the sandstorm damage. Flame burst. I mean 70 power. Yeah, because it's it's special. I'm I gotta be learning flamethrower sometime soon anyways, right? Hey, 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 hey. Can you die to the sandstorm? Thank you. Bellsprout, I don't care who I'm sending in, I'm just sending in something different. You can get flame charged. And Smeargle? Nah. What are you gonna do to me? Sketch my flame charge. I'm already faster than you anyway, so who cares? So let's... I feel like it's kind of a waste of a super potion. But I don't know if this person wants to battle. Nope. Thanks. Okay. At least there's another battle. It's not... I didn't waste the super potion.
Thunderwave. Of course you Thunderwave me. Why not? Go away. Chingling. Um, Spunky has Crunch. Uh, Intimidate really doesn't matter against a Chingling. Solosis will just stay in. See, it's like the the important battles. The trainers have like high level Pokemon, and then the regular battles are much lower. Hello, come here. Oh, come here. Elisa called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon, and I thought about you guys. Wanted to see freebies. Cherish balls. Stuff that I'm not going to use that in normal circumstances would never even be usable in game. I, I don't care what you want to say. I'm going to go here. And you know what? We're going to find Paralyzed Heals. And I guess he's another super potion as well. Because I'm just being cautious. Yep. Gramps, we know you're on the dig here. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking Pokemon away from you. I can't. I can't. Like, do voices right now. My voice hurts. And just, like, trying to do crazy... I mean, I don't even do, like, the best voices in the first place, but trying to do anything is difficult. Now, I'm pretty sure Illumise, or Illumise, however you want to say it, in this game is part electric type. Can I just break through the confusion? Thank you. Doesn't really matter in that battle. But whatever. Uh, Arbok! Like, of course! And you're in Ranger Defenses. Why? At least that's gonna do more. Thank you. I was actually worried about the Poison Tail. Victoria grew to level 31 because Victoria is a slow leveler. <sighs> okay, I only battled one of them. Thank you so much. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's rare HM fly. It's rare, but I'm going to give it to you. Every day, carry around three. <sighs> you were off screen. How'd you know that I was here? You're, there's all these things you can do, and you're gonna go to, to the Pokemon musical. Good for you, Bianca. Good for you. <sighs> okay, so. I, I guess. Because Bianca told me that she was going to the musical, it might make sense to actually follow her and get some storyline progression going. Oh no. Because you actually have to go in here! I'm holding the speed up button down, and I'm not letting it go. Now you're gonna see the mouse. Okay. I, I don't know. I didn't do anything. Speed up button! Bye! Okay. Oh, now more story! Debbie, what are you doing here? Coming to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way! I'm going to keep traveling with my Pokemon! Absolutely not! Others do things their way, and we do things ours. If that's so. Then how do you do things... How about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter! My name is Elisa. I'm this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course! That's exactly right. I'm c it's because I'm worried about that. 
but it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay, and you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful to not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them! Please, if they're going to be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it, but like, listen, there'll be tons of nice people too. No one else since I've been traveling with Pokemon. I've already gotten tougher, I can totally tell, so please. Yeah, I've gotten totally tougher, I've gotten my Pokemon stolen. Wanting to continue your journey of selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you of selfishness on mine. Surprise to find I'm the one being childish at my age. Jim, leave your comments help me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. Hope that your journey be fun. Bye, bye, go away, bye. Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you come home after that point? <sighs> you look troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon Gym. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. Bye, Lisa. Oh, I want to be cold like Elisa, blah, 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 I really want to do, bye, see you later, bye. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, do make sure to hit the like button. And we're probably going to have some grinding in between episodes. Because in the next episode, we will take on, maybe take on the gym. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.